What's going on guys, my name is Nick, and this feels kind of awkward because it's been a while since I've done one of these, and what I mean by that is a regular quote-unquote commentary. Most of my commentaries these days are done live just because I've been mostly doing Let's Plays and walkthroughs as of late. But anyways, this is more footage from the Batman Gotham City Imposters beta that's going on right now, as this guy... <laughs> hang glides across the screen um, but like I said the beta that's going on right now on Xbox Live and PlayStation 3 I uploaded a couple videos earlier today as well as a tutorial video on a way to show you guys on how you, you can actually get into the beta right now uh, right now this is two games that were back to back I think this was my second and third game on Xbox Live and yes I did switch to Xbox Live just because I, I've said it before many times that I just prefer playing first person shooter and shooter based games on Xbox just because the party system is a little bit easier to get together as well. I just prefer the Xbox controller over the PlayStation 3. But I've been, I have played uh, the beta on both and they do perform the si similar ways and I haven't really noticed any major differences between the two. But uh, the game performs uh, as you would expect at the beta of a beta that is. Uh, it takes sometimes a while to get into games and sometimes you get into a game with just really really bad connection and I know this game is like a 5 on 2 so uh, the game doesn't last that long. We're playing a game of Fumigation. Uh, the other video I showed you guys was uh, Psych Madness or something. Uh, it was more of a CTF based game and this one is more of a Territories uh, domination type of game to uh, give you guys a reference point on game objectives. I know it's not the greatest of things to compare other shooters. It's like blasphemy on YouTube to compare other shooters to Call of Duty based games, but uh, that's really the only thing I can think of to, to compare to. And I've gotten used to the mechanics of the game. Uh, you can see I'm using the grapple a lot more. I, but as of late, as I get a little bit more into the game, I don't really find that I do a lot of grappling or hang gliding just because I find that it leaves really, really vulnerable because you can't shoot uh, while you're gliding or you're, you're grappling. But I was grizzed by a guy who grappled and then fell and then shot me uh, with a sniper rifle, but it was just a really, really nice shot. But anyways, um, so that was the first game, uh, or third game, and the next coming game is the fourth game in the playlist. And props up to I am Lord Monkey. He actually recognized me online and then sent me a message asking me if I was the Tetra Ninja from YouTube. So yeah, I am the Tetra Ninja from YouTube. And there's your shout out, bro. But yeah, um, I wanted to do a regular commentary on this game because I am absolutely loving the hell out of it. I have not had this much fun playing a first person shooter for a while. Uh, I think the whole community in general is just really really tired of the Call of Duty scene. Uh, Halo Reach in my opinion was kind of a big disappointment so mainly because of Bloom and armor abilities but I don't really want to get into that I kind of want to just focus on this gameplay and this game. Uh, this game is really really fun I said it in a couple videos ago that it's kind of like a reskin Team Fortress. Uh, there are a bunch of other uh, mechanics in the game. As you can see someone threw down like a stink cloud that creates like wall hacks uh, that highlights all other players. Uh, you can also get a gadget or binoculars a little bit later that I unlock uh, that does the exact same thing. Really, really useful when you're trying to capture objective and you know that enemies are going to be swarming you. But once again, this is another really quick, quick round um, of another game of fumigation. Uh, in the beta, as of right now, there are really only two maps. Uh, the other one, uh, the first one, this one, I forget what this one's called. Uh, carnival or something, it's a carnival based map, and the other one is called Crime Alley, which uh, Batman fans would know is a really famous location, just because that's where Bruce Wayne's parents got gunned down, they got gunned down in Crime Alley, uh, but uh, <laughs> that's enough of the Batman thing. But yeah, like I said, uh, there are, I'm just digging this game a whole ton, and I encourage you guys to check it out. Uh, check out the video that I posted on how you can get into the beta for free, either on Xbox Live or PlayStation 3. It's not open right now to people on PC, just because uh, I don't know, PC people generally get a shaft 
but I find that this game has gone really, when it does come out on PC, uh, I think that the Team Fortress crowd is just going to lick it up, and it's going to really, really strive on PC, and I'm probably going to pick it up on PC as well, and probably be mainly playing it on there. But as of right now, we're just uh, enjoying the console versions as much as we possibly can. And like I said, um, it's really, really fun. Uh, there's a lot of modifications you can do. Uh, you can buy costume upgrades for your characters as well. You can pick and choose how you want to grow, how you want to look, and all that kind of stuff. So a shooter mixed in with RPG elements, which is not atypical uh, of games these days. But um, I'm just going to let you guys know that I will be playing a ton of this game within the next couple weeks, or sorry for the week, next week, as that person tries to hatch at me, equivalent of a tomahawk. Difficult to hit, but uh, difficult to hit, but it's an instant kill, and it's really, really fancy if you can hit it. But anyways, like I said, I'm gonna be playing a lot of this game this weekend, and I will be inviting you guys to come play it with me. So be sure to check out the beta. I I can guarantee you guys that you won't be disappointed. You can't really get any. <laughs> any better than free uh, oh and the, basically the entire objective of fumigation is just to capture all the points and even if your team is getting skunked like 20 to like 80 you still can come back to win it the objective is just to get the scoreboard down into uh, the 100% mark and the other team just get either swarmed by bats or hit by joker nervous gas but anyways um, running a little bit over time on this commentary right now I'll probably just throw a graphic at the end but I encourage you guys to check out the beta like I said really really fun um, follow me on Twitter as well as my Facebook fan uh, fan page I'll be announcing one I'll be op hosting open lobbies for the game and as always thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time have a fantastic day